Hello everyone and welcome. Hope you're all having a great day and if not, I hope it gets better for you. And for today's video, we've got some awesome news to share. As the other day, multiple new images and news for Jurassic World Dominion with that shared both new and old dinosaurs, showing them both. And not only that, but we've also now have the official logo for the film itself. And today, we're going to be looking at all of them beginning with the logo beginning with the logo itself and once again it's like the previous logo that was shared by universal and colin javaro it's made to look like a piece of amber and i must say i love this logo it's simple and but tells a huge story and in fact when i discovered this logo on tw twitter i found a message that described the logo and the others in a perfect way. It's like each logo is a piece of one story with Jurassic Worlds being clean and strong and untouched and Fallen Kingdoms being cracked and as if it was hiding something and starting to break apart. And finally for Jurassic World Dominion's logo it is showing the amber that was inside of the previous logos the whole time. And it's and it actually fits well, seeing how Colin Trevorrow has stated that Dominion will be the film that connects all the others into one single story. And I think that this logo is amazing to show that, as, after all, the first thing we got to see, really, for Jurassic Park was a piece of amber with a mosquito inside. But now it's time to look at some of the images that, that show some new and old dinosaurs that were shared on Twitter and also for part of the marketing that has begun for Dominion. The first image I want to show shows the return of the Demon Carnotaur, that we briefly got to see at the end of Fallen Kingdom, as well as the adult Allosaurus from Battle at Big Rock, which I must say, I love that this Carnosaurus that we only had a brief look at the end of Fallen Kingdom is coming back, and it's amazing to see it, and especially... And interestingly, there has been some discussion on this dinosaur as there's been some rumors going around of a di dino ro battle royale that will be taking place in the film due to some of the escaped dinosaurs from the Lockwood Manor being hunted down and used for this battle royale. And while this isn't completely confirmed, it's interesting to hear what could have happened to the dinosaurs after Fallen Kingdom that managed to escape. And after all, this little bit of news could explain why in the Dominion prologue that came with F9 in IMAX theaters, why it shows the Tyrannosaurus being chased by a helicopter, as it could have been the same people try trying to catch this Tyrannosaurus that were making this battle royale. But this image doesn't show too much, it just shows us detail looked at these two awesome dinosaurs, and we'll go into the next image. With the final image actually showing four dinosaurs, including Blue making her return as usual, and speaking of the Tyrannosaurus, the brand new design for Rexy, which I, I do love how it looks more powerful and strong, just as she did back in 93. After all, this is supposed to be the same Tyrannosaurus from Jurassic Park, and it's finally looking like it actually is. And I think that this design is her best from the Jurassic World Trilogy by far, with the shape of the body matching completely, and I love it. And not only are those the two dinosaurs we get to see, but we get to see two new dinosaurs. Of course, the Atrociraptor is making its mark, as we have seen it before, although this Atrociraptor that's being shown beside Blue is actually from the um, image that we got a while back that showed the entire Atrociraptor pack, and it's just been digitally placed here. And the other interesting thing is that there is a new Hadrosaur, it seems. And while some people may believe that it's actually a Parasaurolophus, however, this is not actually the case, as the Parasaurolophus design is actually rather different than this one. And this one could actually be a Ch Charnosaurus, which I believe is actually a subspecies of Parasaurolophus. And and both are very similar, but the Charnosaurus has a little connector between the um, crest on its back horn as well as to its neck, unlike with the Parasaurolophus. And while it doesn't show us too much about this, this could be both this and the Atrociraptor may be dinos 
may be representing the dinosaurs that are against the engine dinosaurs, like as we've gone in the past before, how Biosyn is making their own dinosaurs. Maybe this Atrociraptor and the um, Charnosaurus are actually um, Biosyn's versions of dinosaurs. As we've gone in the past, we've mentioned how Biosyn is trying to make the better dinosaurs compared to InGens. But anyway, guys, what do you think about these images? And and which dinosaur designs are you most excited about? And, and also, what do you think about the official logo for Jurassic World Dominion? Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join the hunt. Be safe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.